I wanted to show you here how to create an individual record in the FileMaker database. You're looking here at a list of individual records. The gray records are records for persons with disabilities, and the yellow records are for the professionals that support them, such as family members, uh, other professionals like clinicians, um, teachers, administrators, and the like. Uh, we're just going to click on this user record and you'll see there are lots of things you can enter in an individual's record but what we're going to do is to create a new record. We're going to go to the function menu and click on create individual and then click on go. Now this brings up the set of fields that you use for creating an individual record. You'll notice that there are certain red fields in your view here. These must be minimally completed, that is to say you must complete these red fields before it will let you progress in your entry of the data. So let's fill out the first name. We're going to say Sam Long and Sam works for ABC Agency at 1234 uh, Miller Parkway Suite let's spell it right Suite 240 now you'll notice it defaults right to the zip code window and if I put in a zip code it will automatically enter the city, the state, and the county. Again, we have another red field here that must be completed. And uh, Sam is medical staff, so that's going to make him a professional person, and it's going to turn this record yellow once we're completed, once we've completed our entry here. Um, our work phone number can go in these blanks here. If Sam were a veteran and this was a person with a disability record or one of the gray records, you could tick the box here indicating that Sam's a veteran. Now we've created Sam Long's record. I think it's extra important to make sure that Sam has an email address here since email is what we use to contact so many of the consumers that we serve. You can put in additional contact numbers, a home number, a pager, a mobile number, a fax, a toll-free number for this individual. You also want to indicate their area of interest as they contacted you via telephone or email or in person. For Sam that was computer access and use. And as a professional, you want to indicate how Sam heard about our service. And he heard about it from a private therapist, so we're going to tick that box right there. So that's how you enter an individual's record for um, a professional person. You follow the same procedure for persons with disabilities. Um, the record is just gray and it does have a few more fields in it. Fields that indicate gender, ethnicity, fields that identify the individual's health condition and their functional limitations and things like date of birth although this isn't a field that we use very often here. Again if you want to see a list of persons in your individual's database 
you can go again to this window.